Welcome, welcome my little Virgos. I gotta plug you in. Listen, um, I literally said to myself, like, what's next? I, you know, I just did Taurus, and normally I do Virgos, um, and I don't know if you can hear my voice. I all, I feel from you guys right now, well, some of you, not all of you, clearly, um, is anxiety, okay? Panic attack. So, I'm very in tune with energies lately, so please have patience with me, especially if you see me, like, getting feisty or... It's a lot. It's exhausting. And I don't ever want to quit as a reader because I can't handle it. Because um, I can handle it. But I, I'm not going to lie to you. It can affect my energy for hours. And that's not good for my health. And I got to figure out a way to protect myself better from this. But I, I've been saying that for so long. I just, I don't think I can be protected from it. It's, it's like, it's meant for me to feel. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to turn to a counselor and be like, okay, well, this is what I'm feeling, so this is your best advice, for real. Because it's it's pretty intense. So, if this isn't you, it's somebody else, and they still want you to be fully aware that somebody in your environment is, like, fucking ready to have a panic attack. So, let's see what that's regarding. So... Welcome, my Virgos, especially if you're new. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for supporting on Patreon. I appreciate it. You guys helping me out. I helping you out. So, um, maybe there's something going on with you about money. Because I, what they wanted me to say is, I'm helping you out. Okay, how did I say it with you? You're helping me out, so I'm helping you out. But they wanted me to say I'm helping you out, so help me out. But I did it so it was $2 a week, $8 a month. But they want me to break it down in like $2 a week for free, 13 free videos extended, right? And that that's huge. You can go to any page and um, it's like $5 for an extended three if you're lucky. And that's only one Zodiac. So... But I don't know why I feel the need to say that. So I do feel like it could be something financial coming up for you. It could be work-related. I want to put socks on. My feet are getting a little cold. So I will tell you, this is I'm kind of channeling you right now. So um, I don't know if this is kind of what you're going through. And I literally put on, you can see it, it's so funny. <clears throat> okay, I'll show you. I think this is an owl. No, that's a fox. <clears throat> and what's this one? And it's smaller, unicorns. Okay, and rainbows. All right, so. <laughs> I don't freaking know. <clears throat> but I do feel a little better. So I think somebody just needs to talk about something if it's not you. Okay. But I want another drag of my fake cigarette. <clears throat> so I know the anxiety is still there. I think there's definitely something financially going on with you. And I, I feel like for some of you, maybe you're willing to take a pay cut. I think it will pay off in the end if whoever's doing that, especially if you find yourself happier. Okay. So Virgo, week four, rest of May, actually, it's 2021. Almost said tween. So something in between. Dealing with a karmic situation, you're purging, could be some crying. There's there's definitely a break and a pause before there's action being taken. So maybe you need to break the news. Maybe you're gonna lose some money if you're married, divorced. This moon is going to cause a nice pause. All I see is moon energy, so it might get the best of you, but I think in a positive way.
I'm channeling it. It's something with my nails. This one's broke, and I, was, I meant to tell you guys. I was going to, not meant to tell you, I was going to say to you guys. I'm going camping this weekend, so I won't get my nails done until after camping in case I ruin them. But this reminded me of a nail. So I don't know if you're nailing things, be decorating, which would be good. Keep your mind busy. Something may break. And I just heard some of you say, you're like, yeah, my soul, my heart. Cheer up, buttercups. I feel like you're letting go of a karmic situation, especially when it always comes in, or you're dealing with a karmic situation, or you're realizing something about a karmic situation. But normally this would be the other person, so you guys could be crying and it's like them, but it's, it's not to me. Well, yeah, in this depiction it is, right? They're not even paying attention. One's looking at the moon, one's looking at the phone, somebody got left out. But I feel like it's the opposite energy. Or a spirit's talking to you. Like this would be you, a spirit, and that's you. Could be dealing with water, looking, you know, over water, throwing rocks in water. I feel positivity somewhere here, though, guys, okay? So I don't think it's you guys feeling lonely. You could be reminiscing. You could be dealing with somebody who's just not really giving you the time of fucking day. It's too busy on the phone. Can't win in a situation. I don't feel like that's a willow tree. But you guys might be under willow trees. Nothing better than a willow tree. It's actually my favorite tree. And then it's the cherry tree. Cherry blossoms. Virgo. Mirroring, self-reflecting. Someone just had that. I think it was Taurus. Then meeting up, conversation, savoring the moment, uplifted, hanging out with friends. And then you have the Phoenix, a new phase, a rekindled transformation, or a changed mind. So it's like that would make sense after going within. These are kind of lining up, and they did in the other one too. Actually, that was the same. It was just in the opposite position. But if you want to go watch Taurus... That was the same exact message for that the karmic situation that was feeling defeated and was in like in low energy and doesn't want to fight anymore. Um, realizing they're not winning. So I don't know what that's about. Um, it, it really is kind of the same vibe as Taurus a little bit, not going to lie. I don't feel Taurus here though. Maybe a score. But to me, it's like after this pause, this is where that action comes in, which makes sense. It's a new phase, a rekindle transformation. I'm telling you, this moon, I can't wait to do the moon reading. There's just so much information. It seems a little overwhelming. I don't know if I can get it all out. I, sometimes I get like, can I get all the information out? You know, um, it, it, it really is beneficial. It's, it can be a lot for people that are dealing with karmic situations, but even then it's like you wake up one day and energy shifts, so it's, it's really a good thing. I feel like you don't even need a lesson, but it pulled me to the lessons. I'm going to give you an angel card. If you're like in a, you could be in a karmic lesson, it doesn't, well, this is a partner. Okay, so that's not really a thing. I don't know if you're just kind of like, what am I doing? You know what I mean? Um, <sighs> hope like nothing's sneaky and going by in someone's back and meeting up with someone else. It could just be a friend and you're trying to like talk. Like, what's my next move? Go outside, get fresh air, reconnect with nature, relieve stress, and gain new creative ideas. So I, I do see some of you definitely outside near water. But um, definitely that's a message for you guys. Get outside. Fresh air. In that stress is that anxiety I felt. Okay. And you're going to gain new creative ideas right here. New phase. So some of you hands down. Like I said, outside. Even under a tree, like I said, I felt that. And I don't mean to say it like that, like I'm cocky. I'm just saying, like, it's just extra confirmation. Like, 
you know, you really should be doing it. And I just got pulled to my frogs. So nature is definitely a thing. I mean, you guys love being outside anyway. All right, tell me about this karmic partner situation we got here. King of Swords. So I meant to look under the deck. This is somebody who wants to come in and talk about their feelings, though. Or money. There's money going on, family dynamic. It said something money with Taurus, too. You definitely might want to check out Taurus. Tell me about this Ten of Pence. Because I gotta, I don't know if this is work. I, it, you wouldn't think it'd be work right now. It's like money. Queen of Swords. And I wanted to come out reversed. And this is a card of sorrow. This Queen of Swords is someone who's pissed, wearing a mask, doesn't want to call a truce. Judgment reversed. It's almost like something's not going her way. So I, I think this is going to boil. Oh, yeah, see, king and queen. So, yeah, this is the people, the karmics that are together. So somebody has to, someone's probably really wealthy here and has to dish out money and is a little concerned right now. Yeah, they're no longer happy to gather justice. So the balance of the scales coming in, it could be divorce. Okay. Um, I don't see divorce yet, but... It's right around the corner. There's something behind the scenes with the moon there. Truth. Truth of the matter situations. All right. Tell me about Purge. I just got stressed again towards the end of that. So I'm not what that's about. High Priestess. So could be following their intuition at this point. Or again, I'm telling you, that could be you again looking at that person. Maybe something you need to release. Tell me about the High Priestess. And I'm not saying if, if you're that person, I'm not saying you got to release that. Everyone can do their own thing, you know. Tower, Six of Wands, Seven of Pence. No, this, is, this was a tower moment. Someone thought they were going to win in a situation. And they didn't. So this was a secret or somebody who didn't. That's odd. This is the universe coming in because somebody wasn't listening to their intuition. Now, see, it's more than that. Five of Cups. What is that? I can normally read the High Priestess like you wouldn't believe. It's almost like... It's almost like this is forced. I'm picking up on the High Priestess as if it was the Tower. That's very strange. Like high winds, look at the winds messing with the water, sitting right on water. This is like for real getting forced out. I, I don't know how to read that. I feel like it's almost like a guide. I don't, let me talk to spirit real quick. I don't know how to read that. Yeah, see that's like a guide. It's like force with water, though. I think some of you can work with water. Water magic. What the heck? That took a turn, huh? Um, water's important this week, the rest of May, for you. Whether you cry or not, I'm telling you, that there's something I think you can do with water. And that song just came to me. Can you walk on water? I don't know that song very well. Do you believe in something? If anybody knows, please comment. If you can walk, if you believe in something, if you can walk on water. Some of you can do, do water magic. And it might be out of the blue and you're like, what the actual fuck? I can do this? 
have to feel like a failure. But see, this is purge. So this, there's different messages here. I'm telling you right now, this is why I decided to read this way this week. So again, please be patient. Um, just tuning into different energies, abilities. Okay. You guys have this ability too. Not like my abilities per se. You, you could. I, I don't freaking know. I'm just saying there's something with you and water. And it's like, bam, you're going to see it. And look at coffee cup, liquid. Could be just having a coffee. Or you could be meeting up with a friend. Something, this this tower is like success after failure. Oh, man. Talking comic relationship. I just went in my head here. Um... Yeah, success after failure. Interested conversation, waiting for a text, coffee. It's like wanting something back. Letting something go, purging, wanting it back. High Priestess. So it's being protected. Wedding rings, married, soul connection everlasting promise so again this for some of you this is hands down guided like you're talking to your guide you're near water you might not even know it you there might be some magic you end up doing you you literally could do a magic spell or something and you're freaking totally unaware of it and next thing you know it, this is like that energy like calling in a soulmate I, I i don't even know how else to explain it and it's like through water if you can walk on water. Oh my gosh, I almost wish I was live. Like, do you believe I can walk on water? Do you believe I can walk on water? Is that Imagine Dragons? I just, something with dragons. Thirty seconds to Mars. No, I see. I don't. I don't think this is it. Do you believe? How about just do you believe? Yeah. Please comment if you're aware. It's definitely um um. Is it believe? Imagine dragons. Is that even a song? Believe? Imagine dragons. Why am I saying, no, that's Believer. I'm a Believer. No, that's Shrek. What the fuck? Let me turn it on real quick. Strength. Because something's telling me Imagine Dragons, or if the word dragon is in that song. Do you believe? No, this is a different song. But I do like this song. Tired of the way the things have been. Whoa, whoa. That's a good song if you have never heard that. Believer by Imagine Dragons. But that's not the song I'm thinking of. Alright, pause. I'm going to pause. Sorry, I need to jump out of that. I would have stayed on it. Woo-wee! Look at that. Yeah, it's like right after this goes down, you have new love and new opportunity. <clears throat> and it's a phoenix. It's either a new phase, a rekindle, or a changed mind. To me, it's, it's not even a changed mind. This would be someone that's extremely in tuned. Um, it's just a, it's a new phase of your life. And it might be with somebody, a life partner. There's a guide here. That's guiding this. And it definitely has to do with your future. So on that note, I'm going to leave it there. It is a beautiful read. No matter who you are, there's a new phase in your life. Okay? Balancing of the scales is here. I hope you guys have a phenomenal week. Love you. Bye. See you on Patreon.